Disclaimer, this video is 100% serious. Laughing or smiling is not advised, appreciated, or even allowed. Viewer's discretion is advised. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's the Gucci Master, and today we are coming back with a bang. Today I want to teach all the lovely ladies out there how to become a basic popular girl in five simple steps. Now you may be wondering, why trust a guy like me to help you ascend the ladder of popularity? I've consulted my good friend Dr. Smith, who is an expert on female psychology. Dr. Smith, what do you do for a living? I study Also, I'm in high school. So step one, music. So why are we starting off with music first? Well, back in junior high, you tried to do everything you could to seem like a basic Listen to Shawn Mendes or Ariana Grande. When you came to high school, you realized being a basic is no longer cool. So you started listening to music that sounds like this. Or this. Last night took a L, but tonight I bounce back. Wake up every morning, by the night I count stacks. Knew that was real when I hit it, bounce back. You ain't getting checks. Or even this. Climb up in my lap and drive if you want to. Girl, you know you got me to hold on to. We can go to town, but baby, if you'd rather, I'll take you for a ride on my big green track. Basically, you want to listen to either really thuggish rap or really redneck country music. And remember, there is one word that is more important than any word that I've said in this video up to this point. Watershed. Now, every year, drag your boyfriend along with all your best friends, along with all their boyfriends, to the gorge and throw them all in the back of your pickup truck, blasting Jason Aldean the entire way. Speaking of pickup trucks, that brings me to step two, buying your first car. In the 1990s, it was all about the small cute cars like the Volkswagen Beetle. Now you want your car to be as big, mean, and menacing as possible. Kind of like half the music that you listen to. You need a car that will burn through all your parents' hard-earned money through gas, as well as creating as much pollution as possible. Basically, when you're driving, you want to be public enemy number one. Some good cars you might want to think about investing in are Subaru WRX, Mustangs, Jeeps, and you can never go wrong with a good old pickup truck. Bonus points if it's covered in mud. With these beautiful cars, you can travel around town, sipping on that Starbucks while texting, while wearing that those cute sunglasses, blasting Migos, and let's not forget about that Nike dead hat. Which brings me to step three, fashion. To succeed in high school, there are two basic looks you have to perfect. There's the athletic, I just kind of threw this together look, and there's the preppy, Look, so to visualize this ideal athletic outfit, let's start from the ground up. First, a pair of Roshis, and with that, always wear no-show socks. Next up, a pair of really teched out looking yoga pants, from Lululemon that everyone knows you spent more than $100 on. For upper body, you want to go with some type of athletic hoodie, and a North Face bubble vest, and to top it all off, the cherry on top of the cake, the Nike dad hat. Now this hoodie, this athletic hoodie, is absolutely essential to showing off what an amazing, creative, unique person you are. Some things you might want to say are future colleges you want to go to. For example, Oregon State Athletics or North Carolina Basketball. Some other things you'd want to be on your hoodie are the numerous athletic achievements that you want everyone in the entire school to notice. For example, soccer state champions, or gymnastics regional qualifier, or even chess national qualifier. 
Just kidding about that. Who even plays chess nowadays? Also, always carry around a Lululemon bag, even if it's completely empty, it will still enhance your popular girl style. Anyways, this next look that I'm going to talk about, let's just call it the Miss Nordstrom look. Now remember how in junior high you all like to shop at Target? Let's just say this is basically the same thing, except it costs 10 times as much. So your Nordstrom's utterly confused about where to start. Let me help you. First off, get yourself a pair of nice Clark's wedges and pair that with a light wash pair of 7 for all mankind skinny jeans. And if you're paying for it, not your parents, you can substitute it with American Eagles. Up top you want to wear a free people leather jacket to look a little more edgy, a scoop neck t-shirt or tank top underneath, and a necklace with a beautiful handcrafted pendant to show how unique and cultured you really are. So with the athletic outfit, you only wear that to school, but what do you do with this one? This outfit you'd wear either when you're going to expensive restaurants with your family and friends, or you want to post a picture in front of Neiman Marcus next to all your buddies and pretend like you can afford a $2,000 handbag. Which leads me to my next point, social media. Now to perfect social media, you need to master the art of the subtle brag. Now what is the subtle brag you may be asking? Let me give you a few examples. So we all know that over spring break you spend an entire week living your dream in Cabo. But people have short memories. They forget and that cannot happen. You have to remind them every other month how you went to a 5 star hotel in Cabo and got every inch of your body rubbed down by a masseuse. So, how will we go about reminding them without being too obvious? The answer is simple. Throwback Thursday. Caption. Where I'd rather be. Hashtag. TBT. Example 2. No one ever gets to see that beautiful $200 electric toothbrush or those marble countertops in your bathroom. The solution? The classic bathroom selfie what people think this picture is about what this picture is actually about eventually not all of your instagram followers will be completely boneheaded eventually a few of them will start to catch on to your plot and start figuring you out how will you deal with these pesky people i'll tell you how post pictures of you hugging your dog Appreciation posts for all your friends telling them how much you love them and how you cannot live without them. Pictures of you eating sugary and fatty foods like in and out burgers or voodoo donuts. This way, you can seem likable, identifiable, and an all-around good person. And eventually, not everyone will hate you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the last step in propelling yourself into the social stratosphere of popularity. The last step is choosing your activities. So you only have so many hours in a day, so it's important to choose the perfect activities that will maximize your potential for networking with beautiful, gorgeous, popular people like yourself. What are some activities you should choose? First activity, sports. You want to play every single sport under the sun. Basketball and soccer are some popular ones to name a few. If you're under 5'5", five five, gymnastics is a great option. Even over the summer be playing in some select team. Every single season be in a sport and remember, there is no off season. Also, you somehow still have to find time in the day to do some activities that will look great on your resume like DECA or ASB or any activity that will land you center stage in every single school assembly. If you're Christian, go to Young Life. If you're not Christian, still go to Young Life. It's a great way to meet a lot of beautiful people inside and out, stuff your face with pizza, and still have an all around good time. Last, football games. Now everyone goes to the football games, 
but you have to do it the best out of everyone. Wear the craziest school gear, have the best face paint, and scream in pure ecstasy as your boyfriend throws a winning touchdown. And don't forget to do all the dances as enthusiastically as humanly possible. And don't forget to sit at the very front and bring a really long selfie stick so you can get you, all your friends, and all the random faces in the background into your picture for a legendary post at the end of the game. Alright, so we have covered music, cars, fashion, social media, and activities. With all these steps, you can become the next 21st century Regina George, minus having only three friends. That's it for this week, guys. I put a lot of effort into this video, so I would really appreciate it if you went out and shared this video with all your friends so they can become gorgeous and popular just like you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and smash that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at the Gucci Master. The link should be in the description below. And don't forget to like my legendary bathroom selfie. Until next time, guys, peace out.